welcome Aquarius. You just started your own video then. <laughs> I went to press record and it started and I'm like, okay, Aquarius is clearly ready. Okay, thankfully I was too. All right, soul truth. Self-awareness card deck is one of the ones we'll be using. Oracle of the Seven Energies and Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, Aquarius, let's get into it. Okay, Soul Truth, three cards for Aquarius. Let's see how fast these will come out then, since you are so keen. Hopefully, oh yeah, I was going to say, hopefully we don't shuffle for four minutes. Too many cards, Aquarius, too many cards, settle down. Okay, two more cards for Aquarius, please. One more, oh yeah, sweet. Okay, so... Aquarius, first card is, what excuses am I making right now? No more waiting. There will never be a good enough time. The time is now. Today's soul action, and although it says today, do it every day, okay? And if you need to be reminded, come back and listen to this to remind yourself. Okay, so if it's important enough to you, you will find a way. Today, make a decision and do it. Even if you don't feel ready, listen to your heart. You will be led. Yes, I 100% agree with that. 100% agree. Okay. Oh, did I tell you these other ones? The other one is, what am I waiting for? Someone else to do it for me? Wow. <laughs> We're all psyche. Um, and the other one is, am I afraid to be seen? Interesting. We'll get into those in a tick. Let's have a look at this one first, though. Okay, what excuses am I, am I making right now? Yeah, it's like, how, how much do you really want it? Whatever it is that you're making excuses about. Do you want it? Like, really? Do you? Because if you did, why aren't you working towards it? What's, what's stopping you? Is there fear there? Oh, it's on the floor. Hang on a minute. Okay, so first card is body and soul. I feel like this is like kind of connecting in with that body and soul to work out why it is like, you know, that you're not going forward with whatever it is that you want. Um, really connecting into yourself here. There's some sort of battle going on with it. Oh gosh, everything's happening. We're getting all like hiccupy now. Yeah, there's some sort of battle within you. Okay, so isolation and celebration. Two threes here. Isolation and celebration. That's very contrasting. Is this what the battle looks like within you? You want to go and celebrate. You want to go and socialize. You want to go and have a good time. But you also want to isolate. Because there's pain there. Right? Today, make a decision and do it, even if you don't feel ready. Do it. Just do it. Sometimes we just have to bite the bullet and go hard anyway, right? Okay, broken open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, this is the importance of just going ahead and doing it. We have to break open, otherwise we're going to sit. We're going to sit in that shell for such a long time. We're going to forget how to move. And when we go to move, we're going to be so stiff and it's going to be even harder. You just need to do it. Okay, so what have we got here? Two cards for broken open. Some of you feel like you can't step out because you feel so broken. Is this for some of you, your heart. Yeah, this is, look, this healing, right? This is this going on this healing adventure. Healing the inner child for sure. For sure, right? Seeing it as an adventure, seeing what the healing can actually do, right? Because look at this here. This person has guarded themselves with ice, but the, the, what can melt the ice is their tears. So it's kind of like seeing it in, from a different perspective here, right? And the tears and the ice melting is what... Um, what creates the water to nurture the plants in order for them to grow, right? The lotus, the lotus grows in water. So if there's releasing that you need to do, 
do it through tears you know this is like look at this oh yes what i love about this is these tears are falling here dance in them treat them like it's a downpour of rain and dance in it right it doesn't have to be all doom and gloom you don't have to do it alone okay actually take the time to honor yourself enough to go and work letting this go so that I can move forward without that baggage okay seeing beyond looking at things from a different perspective than just what is in your reality now looking at how you want that reality to be and how you can actually get there from where you are because there's this sort of stuck feeling that I'm getting here seeing beyond Two cards for seeing beyond, please, for Aquarius. Rebirth. Moment to moment. Rebirth. Step by step, right? Just take one step, one step at a time, and that is going to lead to the rebirth and um, this, this coming out of this storing of these emotions which are not helping you to move. There's going to be a whole lot of different um, things that pop up for you. But I think the important thing is for you to treat it as a journey. Rather than seeing it as this dark, empty space. Learn from it. As you go along this journey, learn so that you can then in turn help others. Learn to love yourself. Learn to care for yourself, nurture yourself, all these things. All these things that are part of caring for ourselves. Learn to do that. What you wish other people had given to you, give it to yourself. And when you do, you'll invite other people in who can give it to you then. What am I waiting for? Someone else to do it for me? <laughs> Exactly. What are you waiting for, Aquarius? Okay, are you waiting on someone else before you can take the big leap? What if you were to take life into your hands and forge your own unique path? Put your heart into action and ask yourself, what risk can you take to move towards your dreams? Make a decision and do it. No more waiting for others. Do it sacred. Oh, sorry. Do it scared. Take the leap. Don't wait for the fear to pass because it never will. It never, never, never will. It will only grow. <laughs> Believe me. Okay, today's soul action. No more thinking, only doing. Be brave and you will discover what you are really made of. Wild soul, strong heart, can't lose. Oh, I love that. I want that on the blimmin painting on my wall. Wild heart. Uh, sorry, wild soul, strong heart, can't lose. I'm totally writing that down after this and actually putting that on my fridge or something because that is cool. That is super cool. Okay, right. Anyway, let's have a look further into this, okay? What am I waiting for? Someone else to do it for me? <laughs> this is so to the point, which is just what you need, Aquarius. Just what you need. more cards or what is Aquarius waiting for someone else to do it for them Ooh, I haven't had that card before I don't think one more card for Aquarius Thanks. okay so smoke and mirrors smoke and mirrors look at this being honest with yourself for a start I feel like also this is about you know, going forward and just doing it, it's going to take you into a whole new world, into another portal. You're going to look in the mirror and not even know who you are anymore. You're going to be like, hello, do I know you? Yeah, it's me. It's Aquarius. Are you for real? What happened to you? Well, I have a wild soul, a strong heart, and I can't lose, right? That's you. That's you, Aquarius. That's you. Okay, so smoke and mirrors. Tell me more about smoke and mirrors for Aquarius, please. 
Let's see if I can get another piece. Change. Change into nothingness. Yes. It's a whole new. I want to say blank slate. Blank slate. There's so much more than that. There's so much more than that. Is this change? Doing the healing. Some of you may have done the healing or may be doing the healing right now. Right? But doing that brings about a change that is beyond your comprehension. Um, this nothingness is going into the void and it's kind of like what I see with the smoke and mirrors going into the mirror into another dimension, right? And this is what is possible through meditation. But the thing is, what this does, going into this void within yourself, into this truth of who you are, into the I am presence, which is who you truly are, which is this, which is the nothingness, which is also the everythingness. And you get that when you're there. It's very hard to explain. There's lots of books written about it. Some gurus on YouTube that do guided meditations for it. But anyhow, when you're there, all this change that happens around you, right there in, in the centre, remains the yin yang symbol balanced nothing can rock that that's the truth of who you are nothing can rock that ever not even when you pass over and transition it remains the grand symphony I feel like this is representative of your life It's as though, Aquarius, each part of your life is a different instrument which in turn makes up this whole symphony of your entire life. So which instrument are you on now? Which instrument are you playing? And how do you want to play that? How do you want that to sound? How do you want that melody that is rising up out of you to be heard. Which one are we using now? Okay, a grand symphony. Two cards. Two cards for a grand symphony for Aquarius, please. Patience, everything, like this is about this nurturing of you, okay? Everything takes time. It takes time to grow things. This is about you birthing something new, maybe even a new you. Definitely a new chapter in your life for sure, without a doubt. Who are you going to be in that chapter? What role are you going to play? This, is, this could be a recreation of yourself as well, right? But it's about you letting go of the things that you don't want to look at. The things you want to hide about yourself. The things you want to keep in the shadows. Those things need to be looked at and addressed. Because even in the Grand Symphony, there's still the deep beat of the drums. Boom, boom, boom. Right? Maybe there's something you don't want to hear. We have a tall tail. A tall tail. This is you being honest with yourself for a start, not sitting on the, the magic hat and letting it grow with your porkies. Hiding stuff under the hat, saying, no, nah, there's nothing here, nothing to see, move along, move along. Nothing to see. 
What are you hiding, Aquarius? What are you hiding? Tall tail, a tall tail. I want to say here that whatever it is that you are speaking, make sure it's true. Not just truth, but your truth. Don't make things up to sound more glamorous than what they are. Just be honest. How are you feeling today? I'm fine. I'm great. No problem. It's all good here. Right? Okay, two cards for a tall tail for Aquarius, please. Silence going, quieting the mind, the busy, busy, oh so busy mind, Aquarius, yes, yes. This is going to help lead to a transformation because there is this, this rising up of this tune within you that will add to this grand symphony of your life, right? But right now you're concentrating on one instrument here not the entire symphony. So you don't need to put the pressure on yourself to play the entire symphony at, one, at once because what will happen is with that, that will all be done when you get to the end. You don't even need to put any effort into it. The only effort you need to put into this right now is this one instrument. So you don't need to overthink it, is what I'm saying. It's all going to blend. It's all going to work. Just, this is the thing about being honest with yourself and being truthful and allowing your truth to come out, being authentic. This is why, because when you are, every instrument that you have orchestrated to become part of your life, it's all going to blend together to one beautiful piece of music. But when it's inauthentic, it's going to be jumbled and it's not going to match because it was you overthought it and it wasn't from your heart. Do you see? Do you see how that plays out? But when it's from your heart, it's played as a harmonious tune, as a harmonious symphony, right? Yeah. Am I afraid to be seen? Maybe you just need to take a big, deep breath right now, right? Before you pick up that instrument and begin to play. Really connect in to what is going on inside of you. So that you know whatever is coming out of you is authentic. Okay? Just take a moment, take a pause, and proceed. Right? Because when the conductor lifts up the, the stick, I don't even know what it's called right? There's, there's, there's often this pause and it's like and and then they go and I feel like that's what you need to do. Anyway, okay so am I afraid to be seen? The world doesn't want you to hold back any longer. Time to shine your unique light on the world. You were made from love and from love you are whole. Oh I love that. You were made from love, and from love you are whole. Aquarius, that's beautiful. There is no more hiding. There is no more shame. There is only truth. I can't make this up, seriously. Live naked and free. Just don't get arrested, okay? Anyway, today's soul action... <clears throat> What parts of me do I hide so I can be socially accepted and fit in? Am I being authentic? Do I allow myself to be all of me? What do I need to feel so I can be safe to be seen? Journal your answers. Yeah, write those down so that you can really, really connect in and feel that. Okay, that's really good. Really good. Okay, so three cards. Or am I afraid to be seen? Is that what it is? Am I afraid to be seen? Yeah. Am I afraid to be seen? Oh, 
Wow. That last card, though. That last card. Anyway. Hmm. Okay, so willing release. Sorry, let me get those cards. That one's in the way. Right, I'm sorted.com. Okay, willing release. Okay, this is you blowing on the dandelions and letting go of whatever it is that is not serving you anymore. But it's not only that, Aquarius. It's not only about what's not serving you. It's about this willing release of what is within you authentically, purely, utterly, unapologetically. Do it, Aquarius. Right? Willing release. Let the music play. Exposed and revealed, see? This is this not wanting to be seen. You're afraid of being exposed because there's some things that are in the shadows that you want to keep there and you don't want people to see because you're not accepting of your whole self, including your sh shadow self, right? You're like, yeah, that's cool. You can look at this part, not this part, because let's pretend that's not there. But when you love yourself wholly and fully, it's not going to matter. I want to get two cards for willing release here before, really, I go any further, even though I've gone further. But there's a okay, game, because it was meant to happen like that. Two cards for willing release for Aquarius, please. Okay, three then. Let's go with three then. Willing release guidance, receiving the guidance you need. Some of you may need to go and seek professional help in the sense of just having someone to offload to, to go and help with the shadow work to go and help with the things that you suppress, that you don't want to come out, that are stopping this music from within you being played. And, you know, I'm talking about that metaphorically, right? Apply it to your life, however it fits, okay? Because by doing that, see, this is the thing. You have this dream about this absolutely beautiful life of coming together with another to create a world that you dream of. And it seems so far out of reach because there's a lot that needs to be done here in order to get to this, right? To join forces with those who are not like-minded but like-hearted. How are you going to join forces when you aren't doing the work yourself? You know, how are you meant to join forces with people when there are things you want to hide about yourself, things that you don't accept about yourself. How do you accept everyone else fully and utterly when you don't even accept yourself in that regard? Exposed and revealed for Aquarius. Two cards for Aquarius, please. Wow. Participation. Yeah bringing everything together, participating in your own life, um, participating in the whole, right? You can't just stand back on this, okay? This coming together with someone else here, it is there. It is there for you. You've got to go with the flow instead of resisting because there is a resistance within you and it's this thing of wanting to hide parts of yourself because you're not accepting of yourself, yeah? And the last card that came out here for this deck was in perfect harmony, right? Like, seriously. This is what I was saying before, right? Just letting it flow from your heart effortlessly. It's just going to flow and that music is going to be created. And, you know, maybe this is even in a relationship with someone else, right? when you are truly authentically yourself it's just going to flow and it's going to work it's going to work but when you're not in the heart space and you're in the mind that's where resistance comes in it's not so easy okay so in perfect harmony two cards for in perfect harmony for Aquarius please Okay, Aquarius, the first card out here is possibilities, rising above. Yet rising above, seeing it from a different perspective. You know, looking at the terrain, the 
looking at the beauty of it, getting out of the stuckness, actually moving. Moving, okay? There's this postponement card here, which is what I was saying before about this pause. This, this moment in time where it's just like, okay. You know, this pause could be this healing that needs to be done. And the thing is that the pause feels so big. It feels so big and potentially so heavy. Before this coming together can happen. And that, and that can be really, really hard. But it's hard because the healing needs to happen and that's actually what feels hard and heavy. It's not the pause itself. It's the chaos within the pause. That's what's tricky. Okay. I want to say about that though, that can be another instrument. Maybe the healing, maybe the healing that you do is an instrument in itself. So it needs to be played, right? It needs to be played, okay? And once it is, that's going to be another instrument that participates in the grand symphony of your life. Okay, Aquarius, on that note, uh, that wasn't even, I didn't even mean to do that, it just came out. Anyway, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you, bye-bye.